Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Divide and Conquer Third Age Total War where we play every major battle in this whole campaign on um, every faction. So this time we are going to be trying to hold out as Rohan again in their last settlement. As you can see here's the situation. Um, Isengard have pretty much taken over all of Rohan. And they're even starting to attack Gondor now as well. And the Ro uh, Rohan only has one more settlement. So we are going to be trying to hold it. I took a look and Isengard is going to attack it at the end of this turn. So let's see if we can successfully defend. Now, we're playing Rohan instead of Isengard because... Uh, we rolled to play as Rohan when we rolled on two dice. Oh, good thing we rolled as them too, because this is going to be a tough battle. We've got a couple good heavy cav units. Um, we've got a little bit of infantry and a couple of archers. That's pretty much it. Against, they've got a unit of Urukai infantry, super good. Berserkers, they die on the charge pretty easily at least. And Urukai crossbows, we'll have to take care of those guys pretty quick. But these Orcmen spear guard are also pretty annoying to deal with. So let's dive in and see if we can survive. Attack. Now. Um, in my last video, I didn't actually have the audio working, so I'll say it this time. If you were part of the group that subscribed um, because of the Facebook group post that someone put under the, um, the Solitaire Wargaming community, I just want to thank you very much. That made my whole Thanksgiving. Um, I was overjoyed to see this soup. A very large rise in viewership um, reached a hundred viewers on my a hundred views on my first uh, YouTube channel ever so that was awesome so on my first YouTube video not channel I've I've definitely reached a hundred views on this channel and more than that I think I'm at I forget how many I'm at but anyway um, overall guys again just want to tell you how thankful I am and how grateful I am for um, you guys coming over and checking my channel out. So without further ado, let's get this going. So Cav, we've got more cavalry than last time. Uh, we only really have like one unit of um, these guys start out with like 200 men too so they're not even half strength oh jeez it's not good alright you guys need to turn that off alright I group all my cav and then I'll group my um, missile cav and then Bring out our Helmingas. Alrighty. Let's send our Ballista to attack this guy. Did I just say Ballista? Let's send our Peasant Scouts to attack the Ballista. That's what I meant. Oh, we stopped him right before he attacked. Perfect. job scouts they've got leather armor on nice so they've got they're fully upgraded all right awesome descend them forward 
Uh, maybe after the Reavers. them before they can attack. Nice. Did a nice charge. Nice. All right, scouts run away now. Lost a lot of men on that charge, but we're forcing him to go pick up another ram. Because that's something the AI likes to do. Um, if they lose, or if they have to drop one ram, then they will run and grab another one. chasing these units. No, you guys run away. I don't want you guys fighting those reavers in combat. Nice. It's the last of them. Now you guys can charge the rest of their army with pretty much no consequences. They're dead. Running. Okay. No. Okay, those peasant scouts don't do any charge damage against these berserkers. The charge isn't high enough. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men.
that's all the reavers dead. Yes, it is. Perfect. I'm gonna have those guys fire on the berserkers and I think Cav you guys are gonna come around and charge the back of this infantry Pheasant scouts you'll be there mostly for um support can shoot right into their backs. Actually, no, that's right. I want you shooting into the berserkers. Because these ones have, uh, they have light armor, it seems. Oh, no, they've got some plate. They're accurate enough. Oh, we killed their general. Sweet. You want to break them? Come on, break them. Infantry, time for you to come out because you can actually help right now. Yeah, sorry about that um, buzzing. That is someone calling me right now, but it's not important. Look at these Urkai infantry, they look so cool. There we go. Nice screenshot. Alright, we'll have our men go against the spear guard. Our units are still firing. Not really taking many of them down. I think that heavy armor is really helping them out. And they've got two hit points as well. Alright, let's end this fight before it goes on too long. Perfect. <laughs> That's funny. Defeat seems almost certain. And then immediately, five seconds later, we are destroying the enemy. <laughs> Alright, now if I remember right, these guys are actually decent on um, the charge. bringing up another ram? No. Come on, pull out your lances. Good. I'm gonna run now. They're still bringing the Uh, 
Alright, we've got them completely surrounded. Oh, good, good, there they go. Alright, now all they've got left are those berserkers. Let's put our two free units right there. And then they'll charge in a second. Take a sip of coffee while that's happening. Alrighty. Here we go. Sweet. Well, that was a pretty good victory. Casualties inflicted are general. The king inflicted the most. He's the last of the... Um, I think that's supposed to be Bjorn. Anyway, he's the last of the custom bodyguards. Oh, yeah, see, it does say Bjorn the Berserker right underneath. I don't think he was necessarily... There's no indication he was a Berserker in the, um, in the books. I mean, he was fearsome when he turned into a bear, but... I think it said he doesn't like war very much in the first place. Him and the Veilsman. Perfect. Well, let me just save that really quick. Oh. Alrighty. So, um, I am going to... Uh oh, the bug happened here. That's not good. Basically, it um makes it impossible. I don't know if the AI can attack it or not, but the player can't attack settlements without flags. It only happens because this guy isn't. Something got messed up with his script or something like that. So. It's alright. Anyway, I will be right back to find another battle for us. So I'll be right back. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another battle. And this time we've got a very, very large one. We've got the faction heir of Enidwaith defending with a pretty large but pretty depleted army inside of their capital against a very large um, army of Dunlin that outnumbers them. So they've got some very elite units in this army, as you can see. These Brehen sword wielders are pretty good. And you'll chew up most of what we've got here. So we need to be very careful. Um, most of the rest of their army is trash, you could say. These guys are actually pretty good on the walls. They're like um, Rome 1 uh, Germanic spears, the ones that do phalanx so other than that we've got some pretty decent units to defend especially these moot keepers will be good along with the river elders up on the wall and then our two generals I'm assuming he our heir has a special ability we'll be able to use so let's see if we can defend against Dunland so this will be in entertaining now Dunlin just were able to defend a very unlikely siege, we didn't control this one, of um, them against a large force of Isengard up north. So that was good. If they can win this, then um, they'll pretty much be on the upper foot, especially at least against Dunlin. Um, yeah, we'll have our moot keepers go right there. We'll have... These units almost seem too big to go on the walls. And we'll throw our river elders right there. Yeah, this is a very large unit. Um... We'll keep these guys over here. And what about our 
our third unit. I will bet that they will try to sneak something around. So that's good. You guys can stay there. We'll keep these archers right there. These river elders are good where they are. Those wild men defenders. Okay, so I'm gonna make all of these um, group one. We'll make these guys. Who do we want over here? Be this unit. So it'll be group two. And then we'll add to these groups as we go. And then we've got one more group over here. Who is over here? All these units. Over here, we've got Enidwaith Clansmen. So we'll throw them. And are there any depleted units? Yeah. Maybe these guys. So they'll watch that wall. And that leaves all of these other units free to go wherever we please. So we've got lots of javelin units, but no... Not really many archers at all. Hmm, I wish we could go on that hill. keep them up here actually because these foresters have incredibly good range all right no special power so we'll keep our main general right there um, he's going to contribute to the main defense he's going to take command of the main defense I mean We'll keep these Wildman Defenders right up here. And then... What of these other units? And then we'll have... Oh, these guys are part of this group too, I guess. Um... That's probably good for this wall. Let's see. For this wall, which I'm pretty sure they're going to attack. Maybe we throw these guys up here too? guys need to join that group. Mm. We'll keep... Actually, what we're going to do... Throw these Argon Raiders right here. And then these units. And the Loot Keepers go there. And I'll have these guys go right there. Perfect. Um. these guys up here. We're going to have this unit of river elders down here just in case. And then for this side of the wall, I think maybe these units will do. The rest of these units, I am going to keep in the center. Forward. 
they are going to be reinforcements including my general this second general there we go got our battle nice our force nice and evenly spread archers up here firing these are the sword wielders they've almost got uh, their armor kinda looks like samurai armor a little bit which is cool got some more sword wielders luckily these ones are holding onto the ladders they've got like Gallic shields they look really cool Germanic They've got really interesting swords too, like a curved blade. More right there. Shredding these clan folk fighters with our javelins. See that? Alright. So they are sending two units of Brahen sword wielders over here. Okay. The enemy are battering down the gates. In that case. We're sending one unit over here. Battering ram. We Didn't make it, which stinks. So it seems like the majority of their units are going to come this way. Some of their elite units are coming over here. There we go. Wash him away. Perfect. The enemy have ladders at the walls. Repel the attackers. Get some My steel. Brightness all the way up. Yeah, it is. You guys gonna Raiders. throw? There they go. Oh, they're going this way. It's killing some of them. Good. They're still battering the, the gates over here. At the walls. Repel the attackers. Give them steel. Oh. oh, good. We have shredded these sword wielders. Oh, they start shredding our units. Um, our 
lucky. We look how many of them were killed. Those Argon Raiders destroyed them. No other units that way. So this unit's gonna come up. Oh, they're through the gates. Through the gates. And then these two units are gonna sit right over here. Just like that. Uh oh. Go. Oh crap, here we go. Our cunning foe has reached our walls with their siege tower. We must repel them. Are you guys capable of firing? Hmm. Oh lord, they've got a whole nother one. This is their whole army right here. The enemy siege tower is utterly destroyed. Oh, sweet. Where how that happen? All right, we're throwing. Thirty-three percent of them to their twenty of us. Those sword wielders have hardly taken any casualties. These ones are close to running. charge in there. Alrighty. It's not 
good. This unit's already dying. All right. We stand ready. Time to bring these units in. You guys need to retreat. You're taking a lot of casualties. It's a lot of javelins coming in. happening over here. Only half the enemy force remains. All right. Rid of spears. Well, this side I don't think is going to get anyone else attacking it. So you guys can disband and head over here. Oh good, we killed their general. That's one of my river elders, I see. Good. Alright, they're starting to feel like running. You guys can rush. Um, the battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. River Spearman, you can go down. Got their bread and sword wielders, and that's pretty much it. Okay, yeah, we just dealt a major blow to them in, over here. So they're probably going to be running as a whole army soon. Yes, yeah, shoot the runners. gonna have this unit move over here. Raiders. They've all arrived. So I'm gonna have I've already got my river spearmen there. Yeah, I'll have these guys go this way. Awesome.
some of these units might be reforming. So you're now going to come over here. We've got two more units of Brehan sword wielders over there. What's over here right now? Alrighty. I'll leave those two right there. The rest of these, we're going to move over. You guys can stay right there. You guys are going to go into the there. Then, yeah, you guys will stay right there. Perfect. Very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. There we go. All right, now these are all the troops committed over here. Those guys. Oh, they're running. Oh, that's good. Oh, and that's the battle, I think. Almost, I guess. Alright, now everyone just run out. Yeah. Awesome. We killed enough of them to essentially stop them from staying on the map. Good job, boys. Yeah, it could have been. Alright, we went back down to about 34% of our men who died. Awesome. Who got the most kills? Let's see. Holy crap. How did... I don't understand. How did they sustain over 300 deaths? How, over 300 deaths? Doesn't make sense. They killed over five, six hundred of them, though. Hope it doesn't kill him off because of that. Because that's weird. Anyway, that was a good battle. That was a very good battle. Um, it was entertaining, too. It was well organized. Um, the AI challenged me a little bit. Perfect. 
I think we used our free troops really well. Um, we took a lot of our casualties among the um, wild men defenders, which is exactly what you want to do because you just get those back for free. Now let's make sure Okay, good. We didn't just lose the general. Just like I hoped. This is where that other battle happened, by the way. Right up here. Anyway, I'm going to make sure they don't start losing a bunch of their settlements. Okay, yeah, we fixed them all. Perfect. Well, everyone, that will have to be the last battle since we're almost at 50 minutes. I will show you the map, though. So I'll start down here. Um, right now, oh, there's Adria Hill. Anyway, down here, we've got... The evil men are almost all wiped out because Khand is no longer evil. They um, declared war on Mordor and became allies with Gondor and Dol Amroth and the rest of the allied forces with the guidance of the blue wizards, who I don't think we can see any of them right now. but Or at least none of them are on the front lines. But anyway, Mordor, because of that, took this city from them. And they are now going down into Hadha. I don't know how to pronounce that. They're going down there to attack. Um, honestly, Mordor do kind of need to um, focus here. Oh, here, one second. I'll be right back. Everyone, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to. That's a phone call I had to take. So, anyway, um, as I was saying, the evil men are basically being driven into their fortresses and slowly being destroyed um, Dol Amroth is struggling to get across this river because the Ardenayim are holding pretty well on this side but other than that um, yeah it seems like this area is slowly going to become destroyed or come under the forces of good if they can hold Mordor off if Mordor start pouring down into here I think these areas will fall pretty quickly especially up here this is where it gets interesting Isengard are at war with Gondor and they are pushing hard and once they take care of Andros and once they get through these couple fortresses right here um, they are going to easily sweep through Gondor and Dol Amroth and by then this whole area will definitely fall so um, over here really quick Mordor have also taken this used to be um, controlled by Dorwinian but because um, they captured it from Rune very early on. But Mordor came and took it with this army right... Oh, where is it? Here it is. This army right here with the Nazgul. And they have got a couple large armies coming up to pillage Dorwinian and terrorize these poor guys over here. Because so far, they have been absolutely dominant in their war with Rune. Like, they have been destroying them very thoroughly but um Mordor are coming up here to it seems start turning the tide a little bit um so that's very interesting oh they've even got an army oh this is interesting an army led by their Haradrim general over here helping fight the Variags of Khand who at one point were actually threatening Mordor's heartlands in there, but it seems like Mordor's just got their fingers in every pie right now. Over here, over here, and up here, and in Gondor. As they should. They really should be expanding, expanding their influence. Anyway, Dale took this city recently, 
This has been going back and forth, back and forth between Dale and Rune. But Dale have finally, it seems, stabilized that city and that front. I should say that town and that front. Now it doesn't seem like they have many men nearby, unless they're in the forests. But most of Rune, most of their force is concentrated down south by Lest. Um, yeah trying to hold off Dorwinian because there's been constant fighting going back and forth around here even this city that used to be ruins was taken along with a couple of these other cities but anyway Dale are starting to push into um, into Dolgaldor as you can see they've taken this was controlled by Dolgaldor and that and they've taken both of them I believe there was a Nazgul inside here as well so that's been sent back to Mordor well it's dead so it'll be sent back in like 15 turns or so another oh they aren't there anymore but another interesting development that had happened um, the Veilsmen had an army over here going towards Fenholm but it seems like it was oh no it's in this ship it's in there so that was going over here it was hoping maybe we'd fight a battle there seems like this is going to be a pretty big battle though I have my eye on these two armies so Vale are holding out in Bjorn's Hall, Duneburg and Leodholt so we got a couple large armies got the snow orcs attacking the woodland realm right here that'd be interesting if they could take that because they're pretty weak right now they've well, I guess not weak, weak. Ooh, lots of elves. Anyway, ooh, another big battle right there. So they did have a lot of armies concentrated over here, but it seems like they're pushing them out in offensives. Let's see, over... Nothing really happening over here out of the normal. Rohan are continuing to hold out a little bit. Um, with our help, really. Isengard are concentrating most of their forces over here now, so it makes sense. Rohan over in this tiny little settlement aren't really much of a concern of theirs anymore. They look like they're even considering expanding up against the elves of Lorien. But, oh, excuse me. Anyway. The war between Dunlin and Enidwit has continued to rage. It's going back and forth. This city right here specifically is going back and forth between the two. Um, Tharbad is now controlled by Dunlin. Used to be by Enidwith, but as you in that last battle, we were able to hold off a large army of Dunlin right by Alf, Al, Alkfud. We've got Enidwith all the way up here. They held back against a large Isengard army up here. We've got, this is an interesting front. We've got Bree, Breeland, at war with almost every single faction around them except for Goblins of Moria and Dominion of Isengard. So they're really holding out. They actually attacked Arnor recently. So they're pretty recently at war with one another. Oh, you'll be. Ooh, it looks like Arnor almost want to take back Ost's soul. Anyway. So, interesting. Keep an eye on this area. We might even see Arnor come and take Hobbiton. If Arnor can take these cities, then that would give them a pretty strong economic base to push back against Agmar and push Isengard out of here but the goblins have kind of become stale over here they've been pushing really hard up into um up until up into Ardor territory oh excuse me jeez sorry guys they pushed really hard up into Arnor um and then they kind of stopped pushed really hard into um, um, Ladris, which was the huge surprise of the campaign. 
Um, we actually helped control that battle. It was a, I did not expect to win that. Um, but anyway, Elrond is still in Kamath Bryn. The elves have gathered a large force right here, and I'm hoping eventually they'll retake him Ladris. But um, anyway, he has the ring. Oh, here he is. Oh, we can't see his traits right now, but he does have the ring. So, if he gets killed by another general, then the ring will be back into play. But he would need to bring it all the way over to Mithlond or to um, Lothalorien, I believe, to actually get the ring to a point where they could try to destroy it. But... Until then, it's just going to sit in this region. I guess you could think they're trying to hide it right now from Mordor. But overall, the war is not going very well for the forces of good. And if they don't destroy that ring and destroy Mordor, then it seems like Mordor are about to destroy um, their enemies. We do have Isengard. Their faction could potentially go to war with Mordor, though, because that happens sometimes once they meet through uh, Gondor. But anyways, that is all of the factions, pretty much. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and keep watching this series, because it's just going to get more entertaining as factions rise in power and fall. So I will see you guys next time.